what we are witnessing now is also the surge of terrorism across this continent in Europe. It's not just France or Austria that face this threat. Radicalism has been growing around Europe and European leaders are waking up to the threat posed by political Islam. On Monday, France struck back. More than 50 jihadists linked to Al-Qaeda were killed in an airstrike in Mali. France has been fighting a long and drawn out battle against extremism in this region. In return, President Macron now has a target on his head. Al-Qaeda is threatening to attack the French president. It said that killing anyone who insults the prophet is the right of every Muslim. Islamist extremism has become Europe's reality. And now is the time for its leaders to take action. Islam is a religion that is in crisis today all over the world. We don't just see it in our country. It is a deep crisis that is linked to tensions between fundamentalisms, precisely religious and political projects, which, as we can see in all parts of the world, are leading to radicalism, even in countries where Islam is the majority religion. With those words, Emmanuel Macron painted a target on his back. He said Islam is a religion in crisis. What followed was a major backlash from the Muslim world. <laughs> Protesters took to the streets. The Islamic world may have rejected Macron's message, but European leaders must take it as a wake-up call. It's a continent that is struggling with growing radicalism. In 2019, there were 119 attempted attacks in Europe. Out of these, 21 were linked to jihadist terrorism. In 2020, the attacks in France and Austria marked a resurgence of terrorism in Europe. The challenge is collective. The response isn't. Different European countries are trying to deal with terror threats with their own unique measures. Austria banned foreign funding for Islamic groups in 2015. Germany made a push to train imams locally. Italy punished radical imams. By 2018, it had expelled 16 imams. Sweden axed government funding to two Muslim organizations. This included a Muslim Brotherhood youth group. Sweden said the group didn't fulfill the democracy requirement needed for government aid. Clearly, these limited measures were not enough. Europe needs a united front to challenge Islamism, a front that can collaborate with international partners. During his visit to Germany, India's Foreign Secretary highlighted the need for greater cooperation against terror networks. While raising the issue of growing radicalism in Europe, he said, the terrorists are united in purpose and action while we, the victims, are yet to be so. This is a pivotal moment for Europe. Leaders who pushed for open borders and sat in judgment of other countries that implemented tough measures are learning it the hard way. They need decisive action and a comprehensive approach. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.